William G. Bigger, Brian Eugene Bilcher, Mark Bingham, Carl Vincent Beanie, and my grandmother, Ruth Sheila Lapin. Grammy Ruth, I wish more than anything that I could have met you. I know that you were a wonderful person, and I love hearing stories about you from my parents. Thank you so much for raising my mom to be the amazing person that she is. I'm very proud to be your namesake. I hope you're watching down on me from heaven. I love you. And my father, Leonel Jeronimo Morocho Morocho, and my aunt, Blanca Robertina Morocho Morocho. Both of you left a void in our hearts and lives, but we know you are in a better place. We miss you and we love you forever and always. And to my dad, I hope my mom, sisters, and I are making you proud. Not one day goes by that we do not think of you. Just know that your memory will always live on. Thank you. Gary Eugene Bird. Joshua David And you are Burnbaum. listening to uh, some of the George survivors, the uh, family members Chris of the victims. Uh, this has become a tradition where they read off Jeffrey all of the names Donald of the people Bittner. who passed away Robert on 9-11. Let's Weber, go over to Jada Monterano in the Live Center now with more on today's anniversary. Yeah, those emotional words really hit home with me. Still remember that day like it was yesterday. And as we were talking about earlier, everyone is going to be in remembrance and mourning at the White House. There was the moment of silence just happening a few moments ago as we see here in front of the White House there, we see the president and first lady there. And I know from here in California, everyone in New York, we're all remembering that day and those attacks on U.S. soil. As you see here, the devastating photos of the Twin Towers during that attack and just the aftermath of the first responders on the scene, saving lives and saving people out of that rubble there. And of course, that World Trade Center gathering today of that tribute is going to happen the rest of the day. And people there will be remembering those about 3,000 victims from that day and you see here what the New York City skyline looked like starting last night with the towers there represented in beam of lights and I know it's a very emotional day for for many people.